And welcome back to the Bitcoin Boomer Show with Neil Jacobs, our special guest, my friend Neil Jacobs. Neil, thing that I do have um, thoughts on, but I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of ordinals and inscriptions on Bitcoins? And for those who don't know what that is, that's like NFTs. Um, if you don't know what that is, well, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just curious as to your thoughts, Neil, on ordinals and inscriptions. Yeah, so ordinals is just, a protocol that was made up by someone. Um, it doesn't actually affect anything uh, on the base layer of Bitcoin. Now, inscriptions are just a way of putting something in a block, information, data. You've always been able to do, do this with Bitcoin. Now, certain upgrades to Bitcoin um, over the years allow this kind of way to put a lot more information. Um, I don't really have much interest in it. I think it's a passing fad that will eventually go away or be used by a very, very, very small uh, fringe group. You know, for me, Bitcoin is about changing the, the way the world uh, views money. And this is just kind of a, a distraction and, and noise in a bear market, to, you know, because people are, are bored. Um. That's a pretty good point there. I, I think it'll all work itself out. I mean, that's the way I look at it. It's going to work because Bitcoin fixes everything, in my opinion, and it's going to fix itself. I mean, I don't have to have an opinion one way or the other um, on that. Now, look, getting back to talking about you a little bit, tell me about FOMO 21. Yeah, so FOMO 21 started uh, a little, little over a year and a half ago. Uh, somebody... Uh, my partner in the business, uh, Ryan, reached out to me on Twitter. I didn't know who he was. He DM'd me. And he said, hey, Neil, I've been following you on Clubhouse and Twitter for a year or so, a couple of years. And I think you'd be a good partner in a Bitcoin merch and apparel business. You know, I have I've been doing this for 20 years uh, in the sports world, and I'd love to partner with you potentially. Uh, so we got on a call. And literally in an hour, I, I was sold. I'm like, I'm in. I want to do this. Uh, you know, I saw it as a way to kind of bring memes to real life. And I didn't really know what I was getting into at that point. But I've really, it's become a passion for me to run a, a merch and apparel shop. And I get, so now I get to combine my passion of Bitcoin with making merch. Uh, I taught myself how to make designs. So most of the designs you see on the, on the site um i've made and yeah i just have a lot of fun with it it's a great way to connect with people um help orange pill other people right they see you wearing a shirt sparks conversation so it's, it's just something i'm really excited about um and i you know i can't wait for the bull market because this has grown out of a bear market and i can't wait to see uh the levels it could get to during a bull market very good point. If you've done that good during this uh, bear market, just yeah, you might want to hold your uh, hold your hat for the uh, or any one of those hats I saw for the uh, bull market. You know, I, I really don't buy Bitcoin T-shirts, and the reason is my drawers are so full of them. My wife makes me go through them and throw them away, the ones that I don't ever wear. Um, and and if to make it to my drawer, I must have thought it was decent to even make it to my drawer because I have so many in there. But, you know, between gifts from family and friends or conferences I go to where they're giving out shirts, uh, like I always liked uh, the Unchained shirt that says friends don't let friends sell Bitcoin on the back. I thought that was a clever. So I have so many shirts. But I and you actually sent me one, sent me and Kathy one. Uh, so I actually, the other day, saw the one we just saw there, the Havening is coming, and I had to buy it. I couldn't resist. So that, that in all reality, that may be the first Bitcoin t-shirt I have ever paid for out of my pocket, ever. So, wow. Yeah, so um, I, I may have bought another one. So I, I think I, I may have posted about it this morning that is one of the few, but it may be the only one in all reality. So I, I just wow. couldn't resist. So I could see why you're doing well, your designs are great, and I'm not just blowing smoke up your, your rear. You have, it's a great shop if anyone's interested in gifts. Yeah, no, and I, I'm very uh, proud that I was able to finally get you to pull the trigger on, on a shirt. Uh, yeah, so uh, now I have so many Bitcoin shirts because I run a, a merch company, and because I'm visible in the space, I order a lot of shirts for myself for like marketing purposes, right? I wear them to conferences, 
uh, meetups. And my closet gets so overloaded uh, with merch. So I actually give them away when I'm at Bitcoin meetups and conferences um, all the time. I, I throw them in a box. You know, I, I wash them before usually <laughs> and uh, I give them away. Um, so if you're at the Miami Bitcoin meetup or anywhere in South Florida, there are a lot of free shirts and hats that end up getting passed around. So definitely the same exact thing those. at uh, Bitblock Barbecue here in Dallas. I'll pick up shirts that I've, people gave me at a conference and I'll go, OK, this one's OK. I'm going to keep this one. This one's great. And these other ones are OK. And I've got like 50 of them. So I'll, I'll give those away. So I'm saying, but let me, let me, let me make a suggestion. I sure wish y'all could do some collared polos type shirts. Um, cause I would actually probably buy those more apt to buy those than I would t-shirts. Um, so we had collared shirts that would have like little Bitcoin bees, like, you know, on the lapel kind of area, uh, or not lapel on the chest right, area. Right. And people just didn't buy them. Um, we can put them back up. A special request, request by Mr. Gary himself. I'll, <laughs> I'll get some back on the site. We'll talk and we'll get something like custom made and uh, get it up there for you. Yeah, because I, I would be more apt. I usually wear collared shirts when I go somewhere. I wear T-shirts around the house. But if I go anywhere, except maybe to the hardware store for an errand or something, I usually put on a collared shirt. Maybe that's just a be an old boomer, you know, type thing. It could have been, you know, we were just starting and we didn't have a large enough audience. And now we have more people that see our site. So maybe there will be more of a demand for something like that. Yeah, last night I went to uh, an event at Riot uh, Mining Facilities. Uh, they're making the uh, world's largest Bitcoin mining development uh, in Corsicana. And so we went down there for a tour, about 20 of us were there. And I looked over there and there was someone wearing a polo with a Bitcoin B on it that they bought at Bitblock Boom. Because I had a um, sporting goods oh. store, so I had like coaches' uniform shirts and stuff, and we would, instead of throwing them away, we would make a Bitcoin product out of it. Well, Neil, thanks for joining us on the show. I really do appreciate your time. Uh, you've given me more than enough of it, and um, I always enjoy seeing you at events. I assume I'll see you in December at Unconfiscatable, one of my yes. one of my top events. I think they they've got to be up there. If you're a Bitcoiner, I recommend you check out unconfiscatable.com and see Tone Bass's uh, show, uh, conference is well worth going. You know, he gets some, um, I always meet someone new, as long as I've been in this space, I always meet someone new there too, um, that he has as a speaker, just like you were saying, you met Tor at uh, Bitblock Boom. So um, I, I, I always find I meet someone there. I've, I've met Adam back there. I mean, I've met several people there that I have never seen anywhere else. And I'm sure they've been other places, I just haven't seen them. Anything you want to leave, uh, last minute words you want to leave with anyone or? No, I just thank you for having me. Um, yeah, check out FOMO21.com for all uh, your favorite Bitcoin merch and apparel. Check out Swan if you're interested in learning about Bitcoin, buying Bitcoin. And yeah, thanks for having me, Gary. I really appreciate it. Yeah, more than welcome to have you on the show. Uh, we'll be right back in a few minutes after this word from our sponsor, but I do want to let everybody know as I said, we don't try to sell you Bitcoin on this show. That's not our goal. Not selling anything, not selling anything at all. But I do want you to learn about Bitcoin. And I do hope you will do any friends you know that may be interested a favor and tell them about this show. We bring on great guests. We talk about Bitcoin. And that's all we talk about because that's all I care about. This is the Bitcoin Boomer Show. But it's not just for boomers. It is for Bitcoiners and people who want to learn about Bitcoin, and it's the Bitcoin Boomer Show, because I'm a boomer and I like Bitcoin. So do not get this confused and think you can't tell this about this show to someone who's younger. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor, so please stay tuned. 